Customers and employees will have to have at least one dose by October 7th and a second dose by November 4th. You know, these businesses have gone to such great lengths to try to follow all these rules, like the Arts District Brewery here with this great outdoor space, only to be faced with yet another challenge, only allowing in people who have been vaccinated. Chris Rhodes is fed up. I wouldn't be opposed to moving out of LA County if they keep this type of stuff up. Starting Friday, customers and employees inside bars, wineries, breweries, nightclubs, and lounges must have proof of vaccination to enter. If I can't go there, I mean, it's just going to change my social habits. I'll have more friends come over and hang out. These two guys are making a Hollywood movie down in the Arts District. They're all for it. The fact that it's just breweries and places like that, I think, is something to be examined. I think it, sh it should be across the board, frankly. I think all public places that have crowds of people, I think they, everyone should be vaccinated. The people who are unvaccinated, if they want freedom, then does that supersede everyone else's freedom? The order will strongly recommend restaurants do the same, but it's not required. The mandate also applies to mega outdoor events of 10,000 people or more, but requires either proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test within three days. The Hollywood Bowl already announced compliance for audience members starting September 24th. Aaron Kanick says we need to actually all be in this together. Not everyone's just making it such a partisan issue, making it more of a human issue, a health issue, so that we can get over this and get on with our normal lives, because no one likes to wear the masks. But Rhodes says he'd rather ditch town. That won't make me get vaccinated if they do this. It's not something that's going to encourage me to get vaccinated. It's going to encourage me to do the opposite. One big question, especially businesses have, is how will this be enforced? They're going to have to have somebody at the door not only checking your ID, but checking your vaccination card and making sure that it's not fraudulent. Another question, will you be able to ditch your mask with all these rules? These are the things that we're hoping to get some more clear answers on by Friday. For now, reporting live in the Arts District, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.